So, <clears throat> here it is with the little decoration on it. That is the amaryllis that I'm going to give away today. As you can see, my other Christmas plants are still continuing to flower happily in this space. I'll do a video talking about those, but it is on amaryllis for now. I wanted to show you that this amaryllis has, look, this one I can see better. One, two, three, four, and it has a fifth flower that's coming, and I think this flower dies, and then that flower comes. So if you want the apple blossom, it gets five flowers. It gets four right away. And this one, these are all first years. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six inches. I think they can get up to eight inches. And I put my little Christmas tree branches, put my Christmas tree in there. And then I have my, <clears throat> this is the leaf that will grow and be the house plant later if the people I give it to choose to do that. So I wanted to show you guys that. It's pretty, isn't it? And the white one, you know, if you are somebody who likes a simple look, the white one is, you know, very pretty. It's festive, but it can, you know, it could just as easily be an Easter gift, couldn't it? And they do, in my area, flower around Easter time. If you don't do anything to make them flower quickly, they have a light smell to them. You know, I'll just quickly show you. That's my... Christmas cactus. It's also called the Thanksgiving cactus. I like the term Christmas cactus. And this is my um, Christmas cyclamen. This has been flowering since Black Friday when I bought it. And I have other amaryllis that I am starting now. So God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.